Tim Collins with Coleman's Day. I'm out in a southeast city of Coleman neighborhood. We've got some blue lights going up on a porch here with a bunch of neighbors. I've got Lana Slayton. Lana, you're the uh, neighborhood organizer for these blue lights. What is this all about? Hey, well, just recently with the with all that was going on in some of the other states and and uh, the negative press that the police is getting and receiving and and some of the police shootings that's happened in Dallas and then in Louisiana. Um, my husband and my family we were talking about maybe how we could show some support. We have some officers, a couple officers that live here on our street with us, and we love the we love them, and and they we think they do a really great job. And you know the people they get out there and they put their life on the line every day, and I just thought it would be just a simple way of showing support for the people that do that. Well, it looks like you've done a good job because as I came in the neighborhood, there was house after house after house with blue porch lights, blue yard lights. Good job. Now, uh, do you have hopes that this might spread around the city of Coleman well, and we beyond? Well, we were kind of hoping it would catch on, and it's done pretty good on the street so far. People are kind of clicking in and kind of um, catching on to the idea of showing support. And so we're... and it, Wow, how wonderful would it be if it went citywide? That'd be great. County, whoever's on board with it, we'd... We'd love that. Well, let's talk to a couple of your other neighbors. Do you mind? Oh, that's great. Here's my neighbor, Woody Jacobs. He lives come on in here. I think our lighting is going to be good right there where, where she was at. Woody Jacobs, you're one of the neighbors out here. Uh, what's your role in all this? Well, uh, like I said, Lana came up with the idea when we were coming home the other night. And we had one of our informal street meetings that we have on, on this block sometimes. And uh, said, you know, it's... It'd be just great if it was a movement, and uh, we've got two police officers uh, that live on this street, and we uh, want to support them. We want to support all police officers, and it's kind of strange. We got out this morning. You're watching the news, and the governor's got, you know, the the mansion in Montgomery in blue. It'd be great if the White House, you know, was in blue in the morning, and uh, you know. But we'll start with Coleman, and that'd be great. We, uh, you know, we we do support our police officers. Now, Woody, I'm, I'm not here to make this anything to do with a campaign, but you are running for mayor, and this has a, a, maybe a deeper meaning for you than some other folks, doesn't it? It does. Uh, like I said, uh, that you know, that aside, uh, you know, it's it's personal because these two guys that live on the street, you know, they're they're our close friends, and we want to show them that we support them, but we want to show all the other guys we support them also. Gotcha. Well, let's talk to one of the other uh, guys on the street, Police Officer Joey Duncan, Coma Police Department. Joey, what did you think when you drove up and saw these blue lights? Very appreciating. Um, I know myself and even our local guys at Coleman PD is very thankful uh, for citizens like this, other sport, especially right now with everything going on that happened in uh, Baton Rouge in Dallas. Well, not only are you getting blue lights, but uh, I was at the police department today. You guys are getting food, just tray loads of it coming through. That's got to be got to be a nice gesture, too. Yes, sir. Uh, several groups, churches, and uh, private citizens have uh, gave us several meals throughout the week and even last week uh, and showed their appreciation for their support for law enforcement. Now, Joey, I know as a police officer there are certain things you can and can't say, but can you talk to me for a minute as a police officer, as a human being, on how you feel about all this? Not just the blue lights and the, the outpouring support, but the whole thing. Uh, it's a very tough time we're in, in law enforcement. Um, I think that the courts have done a, you know, a great job in handling these matters, and ultimately we're just here to support the officers and we'll let the justice system do their job. Joey, I appreciate your time. Thanks for talking to me. You've got some uh, fantastic neighbors here who really didn't want to appear on camera, <laughs> but uh, a little late for that now. Guys, thanks so much. Uh, I know that every police officer, every law enforcement uh, person in the county and beyond appreciates what you do. Thank you.